Hey, it's Annie. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I know I have no makeup on. You will see makeup on at the end of the video. We are going to talk about the Urban Decay, and I need my glasses. We're going to talk about the Urban Decay brow, brow Blade. That's what we're going to talk about. I've seen some videos on this. Some of the tutorials I did not watch. I just kind of saw that and I thought, hmm, I don't, I'm not a big Urban Decay makeup fan. I'm just not. When this came out, even though I'm not a fan, I just decided, you know, maybe I will give that a try. I am going to do a demo, first impressions. I have not tried this yet. What this brow blade is, sorry, I had to put my glasses back on. One side you have a pencil here, which is flat. It's not pointy like most of them are. So I'm taking points off for that one already. And then on the other end, you have this really fine liner to make, to create the brow strokes. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to first shape your brow. And then I'm going to go in and use this. It looks like a little fine, um, looks like a marker. I want to show you something really quick before we get started. I was looking at this in the store. So I purchased this at Ulta in person. They had a color that probably, it was hard to find a color for me. I think the color that they didn't have was taupe. I think that was the color that looked like it might've worked out for me better. So I don't know how this is gonna be. I don't know if it's gonna be too dark, but it looked a little green, the taupe color. And I was like, ooh. This color that I have here is, I think it's light brown or something. Brown sugar, that's what it's called. Soft, soft brown, soft medium brown is what it says. I didn't feel like the color selection in my opinion was that great and I didn't like I said the lightest color that they had for blondes looked greenish to me that's what it looked like to me another thing when I was looking at this in the store is when I was putting this on my hand and I'm going to do it on my hand now and then I'm going to get it okay I can hardly see anything come out it's really really light I find that when I'm doing it on my hand at least in the store. Let's see if it does it here. Yeah, it does. It kind of bleeds a little bit, okay? I was in the store, this is so light. But I felt like in the store, I felt like it was bleeding a little bit. It was spreading out a little bit. So instead of having that nice precise line, it looked like it was kind of bleeding out a little bit. I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that because you want to create little hair strokes. So am I going to see hair strokes with this or is it really not going to, am I not going to see hair strokes? I bought this thinking I was going to see hair strokes because some people have referred to this as microblading and I'm feeling like I'm not going to see that. I'm just, we're off to that start already. I'm going to use this brow pencil, um, just the back end of it because I need to brush up my brows. I do have another spoolie, but I don't have it in front of me, so we're just going to use this. So first, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to use the pencil. And like I said, points deducted already because I would have liked to have seen a point here. See how it's flat? You guys know if you've been following me, I'm very picky about a lot of things. But I give it to you straight. If you want to know about something, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm just going to tell you what I really think. So I'm just going to go ahead here and I'm going to start... Draw on the outside of my brow. Sometimes I start on the bottom too. I don't know why I'm starting on the top today. Well, this color is not bad on me, um, even though it's brown, because it's got some red in there, and I do have some red in my hair. So I would say this is a good match for me. I wasn't sure. Now I'm going to try for the brow strokes. What I need to do is I need to create some hair strokes. Mm -mm. No, no. It's exactly what it did on my hand. I don't know if this has any more stain powder. I'm not seeing in here like strokes. What's happening is I feel like where I'm putting it at, like, and I'm holding it back, so I'm not putting a lot of pressure on here. 
you're just kind of you want to make your strokes but I'm not seeing I'm gonna go a little bit over I'm gonna over accentuate it and because I don't have my makeup on I will erase it but I just want you to see because you're not gonna be able to see in there I don't think you can see even if I do a close-up and I I will do a close-up right now so you can see like you don't see hair strokes in there so I'm gonna go outside of my eyebrow just to see what it looks like but okay <laughs> I'm not like being crazy here you see what I mean like I feel like when it's hitting my like I don't see hair strokes and I'm just putting I'm being goofy here because I'm just trying to prove a point do you, do you even see hair strokes on there no because what's happening, and this is what happened when I was looking at it in the store. What's happening is when it touches my skin, and maybe because I have oily skin, but I don't think so. I don't have oily skin on my, my hand. And let me see if that comes off. Yeah, it does. It rubs off. I mean, if you rub it, it will come off. It's coming off my hand. Yeah, so it's not like it has a big staying powder power either. What? I don't like about this and what I suspected when I looked at it in the store is if you want to get fine hair strokes you are not going to get that with this. You're not. If you just want to use this to line it um, you can do that but you're not going to get a microblade look with it. You're not. I will do it again and show you. You want to see? Here. I want you to see that close up. Does that look like I have hair strokes on there? And I'm going to stay close to the camera and we're going to do it together. And again, this is going to look stupid because I'm doing it where I don't have hairs, but we're just going to do this just because I want you to see what I'm talking about. Okay. So if I want to make some hair strokes here, which I can't really see in the monitor, but I'm doing that. I want to see what that looks like myself. Like you can barely see it and it separates and that's a soft brown I'm not seeing it guys I'm sorry I'm not seeing that it comes off pretty easily too because I just use my finger to wipe it off so again I'll hold it back and I would just do little strokes here all that happens is it bleeds so any little strokes that you are doing, it just bleeds and it looks like, I mean, this is just gimmicky. I'm going to tell you, this does not work. I don't know what the claims are that they made, but I just know what other people, this is waterproof. Interesting. Why was I able to just wipe it off my hand? I just wiped that off and I wiped it off my hand too. Is it because it was still wet? Is that why? I just want to know what the claims are about this. And then we're going to do my makeup and come back and I'll give you my thoughts about it. This is what it says on their side. It says ink stain and waterproof pencil. So I don't know if the, wa the pencil's waterproof. It says this is a double-ended ink stain waterproof pencil that gives you a microblade definition and precision. No. Get a microwave, get a microblade pre precision without commitment. No. Sorry. No. No. Mm-mm. No. You were, you were purchasing this pencil to get a microblade look. You are not going to get one. You just saw what I did. I mean, that's what that tip is for, is to do that. But all it does is it just bleeds. And it even did it on my hand. So I know I have oily skin on my, my face, but I don't have oily skin here. I don't have any lotion on. So I don't have anything on there. And that's what I noticed in the store. When I was doing the strokes, I looked at it. And after it's on, I can see how it just slowly, that little stroke that I did, starts to get a little bit wider. It seems like a good idea, but it just... We're going to try it again, okay? Let's just try it again. And I'm going to look at the mirror this time. And I'm going to overdo it because I want you to be able to really see it. I think with, if I do it in my brows, you're not going to really see this. So I'm just going to just do some hair strokes. like crazy hair strokes and it just it just melts into it just bleeds 
That's what it does. Do you see that? I, I, like I said, I, it looks crazy, but I just want the point of me showing you that way instead of just in my brow is you, you want to be able to see that. If you've ever seen somebody microblade, and I've even seen them do it with a, a tool, like a, a liner, you know, I've seen people actually do it. And um, I just wipe it off because it just comes right off. You get those, you should, I should look like I have hair strokes in there, but this bleeds, so you're not gonna get that. So let me get my makeup on and I will be right back. I would take a pass on this. I don't think it is anything near similar to microblading. And I really didn't think it was when I saw it in person. So this is what I'm gonna tell you. If you're thinking about buying this, why not go and see for it yourself? Go to Ulta, test it on your hand, even have them do it on you. Have them, you know, do it or ask to wipe off what you have and do it in the store, whatever, but test it out yourself and see for yourself is what I would say. But I would totally pass on this. Definitely not worth the money at all. It, it is nothing near microblading. I've seen microblading. It's nothing near microblading. I think the idea was good on it. I think it had they had a good idea, but I don't know if it's the formula in here or what, but when I was using it, it just bleeds right away. Whether I put it on my hand, which is not oily, or on my skin, which is oily, it bleeds. It doesn't look like strokes. It goes on like a stroke, but then you, I can kind of see it just slowly start to spread out. So it doesn't look like fine strokes to me. Sorry guys, it's not worth it. I, I, I think that if you're, if you want to do, you know, fill in your brows. I really like the precisely brow as far as shaping your brows. I like the Anastasia brow is. I love that one. Um, is it right in front of me? Yes, it is. I love that one as well. And what I've been loving lately that separates your brows and makes them look thicker and fuller and keeps them looking nice all day is this brow, uh, Gimme Brow from Benefit. I love this. I definitely re would recommend this, but I would take a pass on the Urban Decay um, brow blade. No, that's a big thumbs down for me. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I really hope this video was helpful and informative. Please make sure you give this video two thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. Just click that button below, hit the subscribe button. I show you videos every single week. Also, make sure you click that notification bell too because anytime I share a new video, you will be notified. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for leaving me a comment. It really means so much to me. So until next time, I will see you all real soon.